Hi, good morning, everyone. Happy end of February. We're almost into March. I can't believe it. But welcome to our RON platform demonstration today with Ronery. Erin, thank you so much for coming today. Of we course. certainly appreciate it. So I don't want to take up a lot of everyone's time. I know they're super busy and I'm going to jump right in. Iron, let me know if you're all set to share your screen or if you need anything from me. All right. I will go ahead and start the screen sharing on my Great. end. Perfect. Now, while she does that, I want to remind everyone, if you have any questions while we're going through, please drop those in the Q&A section and I will shout them out as we go along. You can certainly talk amongst yourselves in the chat but it'll be easier us to follow the questions if you put them right in the Q&A section, if that works for everyone. So I will take myself off of here for a minute and I will let us get started. All right, I'm turning it right over to you, Erin, thank you. All right, uh, first of all, I'd like uh, to uh, thank Marcy for the opportunity and I also thank um, everyone who joined us today. Welcome to my Ronary All-in-One Solution for my seamless digital authorization and document signing. As a new user, we want to make sure that uh, you hit the ground running and um, uh, you maximize the platform's uh, benefits. Here's uh, what you can um, expect from uh, today's uh, presentation. We're going to talk about uh, Ronary's uh, features and uh, capabilities including uh, remote notarization, electronic document signing, and uh, video e-sign. Uh, we're gonna uh, discuss uh, tips for um, optimizing um, your document workflows and uh, increasing uh, productivity. And at the end, I will also answer my questions um, you may have. So um, let's get started. Our platform is uh, designed um, it's designed to simplify uh, remote uh, notarization while ensuring a state's uh, compliance. As notary, uh, notary publics, um, uh, we understand uh, the critical role you play um, in ensuring uh, the integrity and legitimacy of um, legal um, documents. At Ronary, we also share that commitment to security, which is why it's um, at the cornerstone of um, our um, uh, of everything we do um, here um, at Ronary. I'd like to highlight uh, certain important, important um, aspects um, of the um, security protocols uh, we enforce. First, it's um, uh, credential analysis. Ronary leverages some um, advanced uh, credential analysis technology to verify uh, the authenticity of a uh, signer and witness uh, IDs. This uh, involves a um, multi-layered um, approach that checks for, one, it's a uh, document verification, we check um, the validity of uh, government-issued um, ID using um, official databases, uh, ensuring um, it's not a forgery. And two, it's a facial uh, recognition. Um, we leverage uh, secure um, facial recognition technology to confirm uh, the signer's identity matches their um, ID photo. So credential analysis uh, helps um, prevent unauthorized um, individuals from uh, conducting uh, notarized transactions and protecting you and your clients. Ronary also uh, employs uh, dynamic knowledge-based authentication, or um, uh, as it's known as KBA. During um, the notarization process, KBA challenges your clients uh, with questions based on their um, uh, previously shared personal information. This um, additional uh, layer of verification helps um, uh, ensure the person seeking uh, your services is um, who, who they um, uh, claim to be. Next is a uh, record uh, retention and management. Uh, this is uh, what you will see in your um, uh, e-journal. On uh, Ronary, each uh, remote notarization session is uh, recorded and uh, details of the transaction, along with uh, audio video recordings um, are securely stored for 10 years. Um, now, um, uh, briefly about services that uh, Ronary provides. First, it's a, um, a complementary um, uh, document e-sign for documents uh, do, that do not require notarization. The process is very simple. You upload your document, identify signer, and send invitation via email. The signer opens, uh, opens a link provided in the email, reviews the document, and uh, signs it. The executed um, document will be stored in your e-journal as well. 
Next, uh, we have a uh, video e-sign. For extra layer of security, the documents uh, can be sent to clients uh, with an option of uh, identity verification, such as uh, credential analysis, KBA, both or neither. The entire signing process is uh, recorded and uh, video is stored um, on, in your electronic journal as well. Next, um, we have a remote online authorization. As many of you know, it's uh, a process that uh, allows documents to be legally notarized uh, electronically without the need of um, a signer and notary to um, be physically present in the same location. <clears throat> All right, so now I will um, guide you through a quick um, signing uh, registration uh, process. Uh, you, can, uh, um, you can register on Notary website by clicking join. Um, after your account um, is um, uh, created and verified, you will be asked to uh, complete your profile details to fill up all the notary details in this section. Under your e-signatures and e-seals, you will have an option to pick uh, your own style of signature and the same goes for e-seal. Whichever style you would like, uh, that's what, uh, what's gonna appear on the uh, documents that you are notarizing. Under um, digital certificates, um, here you can uh, upload uh, your certificate. Um, Ronary supports um, digital certificates uh, from uh, IDENA Trust. Uh, for more information, you can just click on the link and it will um, guide you through um, all the details uh, for specific um, digital notarizations uh, for notaries. All right. So uh, I'm gonna log out from this account, uh, we'll log in to a existing one. Give me just one moment. All right, so now let me show you how uh, you would create a um, Ron session. Uh, in uh, When you go to your home page, you can uh, simply click on um, new Ron session. In this um, uh, section, first um, you upload uh, your document. Um, you can uh, just um, upload it or you can uh, simply drag and drop, which I'm gonna do now. Uh, here you can uh, rename your document. You can uh, specify uh, the type of notarization and uh, you can also leave uh, any notes for your e-journal. Um, you can leave uh, the first uh, last name of your signer you can um, uh, specify if it's, um, let's say if it's a real estate transaction, you can um, uh, mention the address. Um, so you can um, uh, quickly search um, uh, in your e-journal. You can uh, either see it by date, um, the person's number, uh, the person's name. So it's easily, um, so it can be easily found. Then you will add, just like this. I just want to jump in here one minute. Can mm -hmm. everyone see Iron's screen? Can you see the actual platform demonstration? Uh, can you drop a little note in the chat for me or a reaction? Let me know that you can see that. Perfect. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Great. I'm so sorry okay. for interrupting everyone. No, no, yeah, no. Go Thank ahead. You. I Thank just want to make sure everyone sees it. Yes, but... no, absolutely. Okay. Uh, so Next, uh, we're just gonna click acknowledgement. Uh, next, you will add your uh, participants here. Okay, do this again. So here I will add my name. I'm gonna identify myself as a signer, just in case um, uh, you are adding a witness um, you have an option um, to click uh, this box here, uh, the witness in the same room as signer. What that means, um, uh, your witness uh, will not be required to go through KBA and credential analysis. If the box um, uh, is, unchecked, is unchecked, that means uh, that the witness will go through identity verification just as um, a signer would. So we'll 
identify me as signer. We're not gonna add any more participants, uh, but you um, can uh, add up to five uh, participants here. Next, we will go uh, ahead and set tags. So I run for that five participants. Would that include, would that be inclusive of everyone? Signers, witnesses, just viewers. It's five total individuals who are allowed in that session. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So all the participants uh, will be shown here. Uh, on the top corner, now we have uh, me as a signer and me as a notary. We have uh, our document. This is just a testing document. Um, now I believe it has five pages, but it can be more. Um, sorry, the slide keeps flipping. Um, so uh, you will click, first um, you can uh, click on the signer. You will uh, set up, um, you can place the name, you can put the signature. If you need, you can put initials. Uh, if you click on uh, notary, the color is um, changing and this is just um, um, so you can easily identify um, uh, it's, uh, if it's you, the signer or the witness. So you can uh, designate by colors. Um, full name, uh, let's do, this is me uh, setting tags, uh, tags as notary. So I would place my signature here, my full name. If uh, I need um, to add date as a preset of today's date, if you need to add a specific date in your certificate, you will click on the add text box and you would place it in the right spot. Just in case, um, let's say your certificate has um, a wrong uh, state. In this case, uh, we have Florida. Let's change it. If we need to make changes, we will do cover. And I also like to add uh, my initials just in case. That means that uh, I did that uh, correction. Um, if we need to fill up any additional information, such as check marks, I like to put the X's. Um, then um, I will place my stamp. And what I also like to do is adding this note and placing it here. Notarize uh, online using uh, audio video communication. Um, same goes for my commission. You will um, add uh, the text box uh, with your uh, commission expiration date. Um, so after um, your document is ready to go, and by the way, you can set an um, unlimited uh, number of seals. Uh, we do not charge any extra for that. So um, it's always uh, recommended to check the document and um, text before sending it to the client for review. When you're ready to go, you will just click on send invite. This is your document, this is your signer, double check all this information first, and then you can go ahead and send the invite. Um, this is um, your unique um, invitation code to this specific um, session. Every participant um, uh, that you indicated will have um, this unique uh, code um, so they can um, just um, uh, access uh, the session with this number. And um, now I will check my email. Moment. Okay, so your signer will receive an email invitation. How to get rid of this, okay. This is uh, gonna be the email invitation. So if um, your signer is a first time user, they will have um, an option to download um, a Ronary app uh, for signer from uh, Apple Store or Google Play. If uh, they already have uh, the app uh, installed, they simply can uh, click on go to your Ronary app uh, and enter the invitation code. Just um, um, uh, in case um, your signer doesn't uh, want to use the app or it's inconvenient for, for them, or they prefer using a web browser, they can just uh, click on the link.
enter the code. And they will be uh, brought to this uh, session. Second. So the signer sees um, uh, his name. He will just click um, on the name, continue. He will check uh, all the information that uh, was pre-entered and entered date of birth and anything else uh, what is missing. After he's, um, uh, he confirms uh, the data, he will be um, asked to go through credential analysis and uh, KBA. And after he, um, after he um, passes uh, both, he will join a notary for a, an authorization session. Uh, the entire signing process can take uh, less than uh, five minutes. And upon completion, notary will have um, executed documents and video uh, recording in uh, e-journal. And it uh, will have all this um, information uh, about um, the completed session. The documents can be accessed here, the video confirmation of um, the entire session. And um, as I mentioned, it's um, stored in your e-journal. Um, I'm just gonna go. Back. I'm just going to cancel this one so I can show you the now. So your e-journal will look like this. You have uh, all your remote online authorization sessions, your video e sign sessions, and uh, document sign sessions. So uh, this is uh, pretty much it. If uh, you have uh, any questions, this would be the time uh, that I can uh, answer them. I hope uh, this was um, informative. Yes. All right. So a couple of questions. Sure. Can you tell me, um, about, let's talk about the storage of the, the recording and the journal. You retain both of those for 10 years. What if the notary uh, leaves the platform? Can they take those with you? Them? Will you still retain them for 10 years? Will they have access to them? Is there a fee for that? So um, uh, while the notary um, is using our services, uh, they will have uh, all their uh, recordings and documents um, stored here. In case uh, the notary uh, moves to a different platform or decides to um, leave us, uh, they will have uh, an option to um, get all of those uh, recordings. Uh, we will be um, uh, sending them uh, the files directly. Perfect. And do they have access to those recordings in that journal at any time while they're on the platform? Can they get them directly or do they need to go to customer service to get that information? When they uh, decide to uh, no longer use our services, uh, they go to customer uh, support and um, they start the process of uh, transferring the files um, directly to them. Okay, but while they're on there, they have access to all that information. Of course, yes. With uh, their login and password, um, all of this information, um, this is their account. We have nothing nothing to do with it. They, it's okay. theirs. And do you store those signed documents? Uh, yes, of course. It's um, uh, iCloud uh, storage. Everything is stored there. With the documents and the video recordings as well. Great. And then what about um, the training? Is there training that they can take or is there required training training to join your platform? Uh, we do not uh, require any training. Uh, the platform was uh, specifically designed so it's um, simple in use and um, user-friendly. Um, after one uh, session, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone can be um, familiar with, uh, with the platform. If um, the new, new user comes in, we always um, offer a, a training. We can uh, set up um, uh, personalized uh, calls and uh, we can go through monetization or video design uh, processes and show how it's working. So it's uh, upon request, we do not require. And then uh, your customer support or customer service, is it, uh, do they have phone access or is it by chat or email? And what hours is their customer support available? So um, we have a um, uh, chat on our website. Uh, we can, you can drop any questions or notes um, and uh, we are trying to respond to them uh, 
um, as soon as possible, just in case um, our customer support is uh, busy. Um, usually it's during office hours, but it depends on the day. If we are busy, uh, we can just, um, you can still leave a message here. Uh, we will check those messages um, um, often and we will respond as soon as possible. Or you can just um, uh, email us at support. Oops at support or services. And uh, we also um, check those um, uh, often and will respond as soon as possible. Okay, great. Um, mm -hmm. Let's talk about non-US citizens. So, you know, um, does the platform allow for just the biometrics plus identification? Or does it require the, a the KBA? Do you take foreign uh, identification and what types of foreign identification if you do? So if uh, it's a foreign um, uh, person and uh, they do not uh, have uh, social security, they will not be able to pass um, a KBA. Uh, in those instances, uh, we offer, um, uh, we have an option of uh, credential uh, witnessing. So uh, the other person uh, who knows the signer can come in, uh, they will pass a um, uh, ID verification such as credential analysis, KBA, and they will also join the session along with the signer. They will be asked um, specific um, sets of questions. Um, uh, so the signer can be identified by this witness. Okay, so I just wanna make sure I'm clear. So if the individual is not a US citizen and they don't have a social security number, um, you don't allow for just the biometrics and the foreign ID verification, correct? you would require a witness. Yes, they have would to, have to be a US citizen. Yes, the, the uh, credible witness, um, he has to be a citizen so he can pass KBA and credential analysis in order to join the session. But if the signer is not US citizen, he will simply not pass KBA. And this is one of the requirements. Let's see what other questions we have in here. Um, So this question, um, yes, New York State does require two witnesses. So you would have to follow uh, New York State rule. I guess it just would depend on what state that you're in. So mm -hmm. some states only require one, some states require two, depending on the state. Um, this question is about notarizing a loan package where there are multiple individuals in different cities or states. It doesn't matter. We don't care where the person is right. necessarily in that respect. Right. It really matters where you, the notary, are. So um, yeah. individuals from anywhere can do that. Right. Um, we talked about the training. We talked about the support. Can you go over the pricing? Did I miss the pricing? Did we talk about pricing? Sure. Uh, let's do that. Okay, so here we have um, several plans. Uh, all of them are flat fee, no additional hand hidden charges is uh, what you see is what you uh, pay. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a uh, regular notary work with a uh, one two page document or it's a real estate transaction. Uh, the maximum uh, the user pays is um, $25 per session. Um, and even uh, less with the higher um, uh, plans. So every single uh, plan starts um, um, with the five, uh, let's, let's talk about the starter. So the starter one um, already includes five video e sign sessions and five RON sessions. We have uh, up to five signers per session with the unlimited tags, unlimited seals, Everything is um, recorded, stored for 10 years in your e-journal. Uh, we have, um, uh, the signer has um, uh, ID verification, such as credential analysis and uh, KBA. All of your unused sessions can be rolled over to the next months. Um, and every single plan comes with a complimentary uh, document uh, e-sign. And as I mentioned before, those are the documents that do not require an authorization. You send something to your client, he receives an email with the link, and he signs documents uh, within a couple of minutes. Um, same uh, executed documents um, is stored in your e-journal. 
Um, and um, during um, the months, starting uh, March 1st, we're going to have a um, uh, special for all the um, uh, new existing users. They will have um, uh, three free um, RON sessions or um, uh, video e-sign sessions. It can be used for either for either, for either either one. So they can um, have a feel how the platform uh, works, what they um, like, and see how um, how easy this is. And those uh, free sessions um, uh, should be used uh, during March. So they are good through March 31st. Great. And now back to the credentials or identification that a user uh, can supply. So do, do you allow for foreign credentials? So a, you know, a Spanish passport or a, you know, a Greek passport, or is it only U.S. identification that we can use on your platform? They allow, um, the system that uh, we use allow for foreign um, identification, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily has to be U.S. Great. And now what states are you available in? Um, are you, and we know the states that don't allow for a run, but is there a place where they can find to see if you're approved? Yes, so the states are here and uh, we periodically might add um, different states as we go through their rules, regulations, um, and uh, we see if we can uh, comply or not. So far, this is the list of states. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other questions? I know there's a couple of state specific questions that I'll, uh, I can answer offline. I think give you all a countdown, a one, two, three countdown for anything else you have questions about or you'd like to add. This of course was recorded. We'll put it in our uh, Ron library. So anyone can access it after the fact, if you Perfect. were able to, you jumped in late, I'd say if you left early, but if you're not here, you wouldn't hear me say this. So. <laughs> and if everyone comes up with uh, different questions that they had a chance uh, to ask, uh, we also are available, like I said, they can just uh, email us at support and uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions after this presentation. All right, perfect. Well, I certainly appreciate your time today. Thank of you so course. much. This was Thank so you, helpful. Marcy. If <laughs> anyone else has any other questions, you can drop them in quickly. Otherwise, I will release you all to get on with your day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. everyone. Have a great day. Thank you, Erin, so much. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. You too. Bye.